So just like uh, you said, uh, when we ended last game, you guys had just broken into the splinter group of the Anarchs, ones that are broken away that do not see um, the same way that they see things going in London. And you guys managed to just managed to break in without anyone noticing. Um, both Jessica and the now zombied um, <laughs> Nathaniel. Inside, you found, if you remember, a bunch of uh, pages, which if you just go check and make sure you still have access to, please. Mm -hmm. Yep. A, bun a bunch of uh, yep. very disturbing looking pages that you decided to take with you. So you do have those. And I will say from my notes, who has those? I think Jess has them, right? Yeah, she does. In her pocket. In her pocket. <laughs> Just the one that gets to be haunted and hunted. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, from there, you made your way um, to the middle floor, um, going to the right and going into an office area what seemed to have more information of what was happening there, but out of game. Uh, Jessica, um, I think her <laughs> internet broke down. <laughs> so, Nathaniel, you took charge and you doubled back, heading straight downstairs to try and find your target. Once down there, you found a room marked with 14, along with other rooms, uh, numbering all the way up to 26. Lots of them were crossed out, but the 14 was, uh, was not. On the inside, when you broke in, you found the box that you were seeking, and then, with communication with the others outside, you decided to <laughs> blow up side of the building and uh, go out that way with the box, as Kofi somewhat drove um, <laughs> as your escape um, driver. As you piled out, the others chase you, um, opening fire, as your other team members uh, fired back at them, stopping their cars and quickly driving away leaving now you guys if you'd like to place your tokens in the car driving through very very late at night and at this point the sun is very close to be coming up so i will actually have kofi could you please roll me a Wits awareness. All right. Um, Kofi's driving the. So was it Jace driving his, and then Kofi's driving my car, or? I believe Kofi yeah. was driving your car. I think. Okay. Four successes. With that, looking up, and how long it took you to uh, take care of this little job and break in and get this out as you were only supposed to go there and uh, scout it not actually do the actual job night you realize when you look up that the sun is coming up and you are beginning to feel tired now you are not about to you know pass out now or the sun is about to rise exactly but you know that where you need to go back to you just don't have time to get back there you're on the other side of London, and it will take through the uh, the now building traffic way too long to get back to a safe haven. What do you guys want to do? I say we just get to the hotel. That's like I said, well, or is that the safe? Yeah, that is, we don't have yeah, time to yeah, get back. You to don't it. have time to. I looking at the map a... and where all your uh, havens are, including yours, Kofi. There just okay. isn't time to get to anywhere familiar. It, uh, question, question, is there any, like, hotels or anything around, like, oh, yeah. this general area? Uh, many, um, but on this general area, more of the lower class. There's no, like, five star or anything like that. I don't Are we think close we to the need... Are we close to the circus? No, that's on west side, London. I'm yeah. just going to say this right now. I think we're we need to be is not necessarily anywhere fancy i think it would just be good if we 
pull over, grab a random like hotel room, and just crash in the bathroom where there's no windows. In fact, let me just show you. This is the uh, carnival. You are way down here, heading uh, more to the west. But even that is too far away. You're looking around this type of area, the furthest you could go. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm down with us finding like a motel, hotel situation. Mm -hmm. I can use my uh my backup identity to check us in. Okay. As yeah. I will ask, uh, out of you and Jace, were you both in the same car together? Remind me. Me and Jace. Uh, yeah. I don't remember exactly how the car. I think me and Jace were in the same car because we yeah. were both shooting together. And Hector was on the uh, the moped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hector's on the moped. Kofi's driving the car with me and Jace and whoever else, and then the rest mm -hmm. got into the car. Jace's so, car. I'm gonna ask if uh, you're driving, uh, Brandon, uh, with in, with Jace. Because Jason's here. Nope. I'm going to ask you to make me a wits. Do a wits drive as to try and find them as they span off um, before you did. <laughs> this is going to be bad. When your hunger is at four right now. Oh yeah, where's my hunger at? Oh wow. Four also. <laughs> Two. That's all you needed. After you spin off, you can catch up to them. Um, you see the car spinning by multiple other cars on the road. And you follow it, and you manage to keep up with uh, Kofi's, you know, uh, driving. <laughs> she is not, you can tell she is not used to, uh, you know, driving cars. And uh, you do not see where uh, Hector has gone, however. But you're able to keep pace and eventually match them. So, if you're wanting to find a hotel or motel, uh, Kofi, uh, in fact, um, Jessica and Nathaniel, would you guys be too busy, like, investigating the box, or would you be looking for a place to stay as well? I would be, with going, seeing how close it is today, um, Jess's main priority is survival. Not okay. investigating the box. In that case, because Kofi's driving, I'll give her a plus one die for you and Nathaniel. Nathaniel, in fact, are you looking out and investigating, or are you just looking at this box um he's not looking at a box okay Kofi, make me a wits <laughs> investigation i don't think either one of us want to know what's uh in that box right now <laughs> <laughs> what's awareness plus two yeah okay yeah modifier two here we go do i need to make anything or no because you're following mm -hmm. them Okay. There we go. Three. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. With a three successes, you find a very small, very cheap looking place. Um you're not sure if it's got, you know, room suitable, but there is a hotel there if you wish to go to it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. In that case, pulling up to it, you'll see a uh a row of houses on the other side while this seems to be a kind of a parking lot area and then surrounding it you will see um, kind of like in a L-shaped building with uh, two rows on top of each other of, um, of rooms and a main part of the building on the right side that looks to be the office area as you <laughs> as you and uh, Brandon pull in these very expensive cars in this very crappy hotel you will get some looks. <laughs> there are definitely people uh -huh. like, um, what are they doing here? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, she, Kofi's not even going to acknowledge them. <laughs> she's going to go over to the office. I think she's also kind of sniffing out to see if there's any, like, pets nearby. But she's also, like, you know, just heading to the office. Okay. As you head out to the office, um, Brandon, as you pull into this uh, hotel area, what do you do? Brandon? Are you muted? Are you ignoring me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brandon is away in that case. Uh, Nathaniel and Jessica, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm opening my wallet because uh, I'm going to assume that this is kind of like Chicago and the really dingy ones will just take cash. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so she's just going to get ready to throw money at a guy and be like, I need a room. <laughs> okay. And uh, that's a good point. As Kofi, <laughs> you go into the office. Yeah, and... I just thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you see quite a, a large man, um, very muscular. Uh, bald on top, uh, kind of darkish skin, and he will kind of just look at you and just say, uh, yeah. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> he's on duty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's trying to um, play. Well, no, like, there, there was a plan for me to, like, be able to do this, but fucking people are trying to use us for shit that we're not supposed to be doing right now, so okay yeah they're just fucking bad leadership doing things they shouldn't be doing so it is what it is make them do drills <laughs> all right bye y'all okay, <laughs> um and suddenly brandon and jace go missing <sighs> yeah that whole car <laughs> yeah that, yeah, that you... whole car just up and disappears <laughs> you hear scratching on the box and then you watch uh -oh. as jace and uh and and Brandon just disappear. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> um, what did the guy say? Oh. For it to make more sense, it'd probably just be Hector who just run them over with his uh, with his moped, and then <laughs> we're away. <laughs> but uh, yes, the man looks at you, uh, Kofi, and just says, uh, "Yeah, love, what can I get you?" Uh, hi. Um, I was. Uh, me and my, uh, a couple of my friends were just looking for a room for the, and she's going to look back and kind of like count. And for at least five of us, I think. Uh, just the one night? I mean, uh, one day. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Um, yeah, just one. For now. Right. Uh, that'll be, uh, for the, how many rooms did you want? One for each of you? No, not one for each of us. Did Jess, did you come with with a uh, yeah, at you... this point? Hang just, on, hang just... on. I want to make it awkward first. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not one for each of us. Just uh, two for us, please. <laughs> and beds with the oh largest bathroom God. and curtains. Please. <laughs> well, um, God, if you want curtains, that's gonna be extra. And it kind of <laughs> gives you a, it, it gives you like a weird face, like, all right. But uh, he'll kind of look you up and down and say, all right, uh, that's uh, 180. Great, great. So do you take, um, so Jess, Sorry about that. Jess. <laughs> At this point, Jess will walk in. <laughs> Did I hear any of that? You you heard the last part. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you take cash? Um, yeah, of course. Cool. And she'll just throw like, uh, she'll throw uh, she'll throw like two two fifty down. Um. Uh when you said throw, and, I was literally expecting you just... Yeah, throw like fucking throw face. right at him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the keys! <laughs> okay, no, but she'll, she'll just... Yeah, she'll slap 250 down. Um, 
Oh, you want a room service then? Was that uh, no, cleaning? No, we we want to make sure that nobody disturbs us, nobody comes in, nobody comes you knocking. Sure? Well, you know, during the daytime, <laughs> our people can open the doors and come in, you know, open the curtains for you, clean up a bit. Nope. No, thank you. Nope. Um. Uh, all right. Here, here are your keys, and mm -hmm. he'll just hand them over to you. She's just gonna snatch them and take Kofi by the hand and be like, "All right, let's go." Bye. <laughs> <Hi! laughs> she is, I guess. <laughs> Fucking Kofi, weirdo. Head out. <laughs> Now, as you were in there, Nathaniel, you were alone with the box. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yay. Okay. You watch as everyone gets out of the cars and all rush towards the, uh, the entrance, trying to get rooms for you quickly before the sun comes up. And the box next to you, again, you will begin to hear the Do you do anything? Um, he, he's gonna call just because he doesn't want to leave the box in the car alone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but <laughs> but he cannot. He will not be able to carry this. So. Oh man! Um, it's just, it's yeah, he's beautiful. weak right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Please! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. I guess Jess will go and pick up the box, but she's gonna look to Nathaniel and be like, "You gotta call Hector. I don't know where he is, and I'm as, nervous." As you pick up the box, you'll hear again the tap, 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 and stop. <laughs> this box smells really, really good. Mm. And oh crap. Kofi. Oh, yeah. That's a shame. Would you please, as you now begin to walk back with Jessica, and she is pulling out the box, could you please make me a frenzy check? Difficulty two. <laughs> oh, difficulty two. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you smell the box. And it smells delicious. And the beast inside wants you to rip it open and get at whatever is inside there. But, you're Kofi. You've been able to maintain your humanity for a very long, well, for a short time, at least. But you've done yeah. it so well. And at a certain degree of uh, discipline, then most uh, new kindred would have a uh, difficulty of maintaining. But you manage to keep a hold of yourself as, Jessica, you pull out the box. It doesn't weigh much. And as you pull it out, it will, again, slide to one side and kind of you hear a small fud noise. <sighs> I'll be. Is it? Yes. Hmm? Is it still I'll tapping? Be... Oh. It is. Every now and then, just tap, tap, tap. Okay. Now I will ask: Would you like your rooms on the top floor or the bottom? Uh, d d wherever it is quickest for us to shove a three bodies in a box in. That would be. Uh, that would be on the <laughs> bottom floor. Cool. <laughs> okay. In that case, uh, as you all rush into one of the rooms out of the two that you bought for the night, you will enter and see a very, you know, plain-ish room. Uh, nothing too special, but also nothing, you know, horrible either. Let me just uh, get that. It doesn't look this good, but uh, this is what I have oh, nice. on hand. 
<laughs> Picture more water damage on the roof and a little bit mold growing in corners. Um, the carpet ripped up. The sheets look a little uh, used and uh, could could use no a flowers. bit of a clean. No flowers. It is Dead truly, flowers. It is, it is truly a blessing that we don't have a Toreador and uh, <laughs> we don't need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for black light. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you quickly bring in the box and everyone kind of piles in if you'd like to place your tokens. Once inside, what do you do? You have maybe an hour while the sun begins to rise. Um, Question? Yes. How uh, I want to check the bathroom to make sure there are no windows or anything, or if okay. there are, it's something that we can easily cover up. Going in, <clears throat> going inside the bathroom, you'll see a shower with um, a bath connected to it, and a small window with um, you know that uh, kind of weirdly shaped uh, glass that doesn't let you kind of see through it, but you get that it's daylight and stuff. Yeah, like mm -hmm. stippled glass, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is one window. Okay. Um, start grabbing blankets, sheets, whatever we can use to cover it up. And, okay. yeah. There is also a window at the front um, of this place. That seems, well, so, sorry. There's a window at the back of this place that goes into the back of the hotel. At the, uh, would be at the side of the bed. Mm. Uh, I think Kofi will try to cover that up as well as she can but okay. you know it's also there's the bathroom in that case I will ask for a roll that I rarely get to ask for would you like to make me a I'm going to say dex craft or wits craft uh, dex craft or wits craft I'll no. do wits craft and that's for the both of you Okay, I'll do dex. Uh, if uh, allowed, Nathaniel will help whoever thinks they need it most. You can only help one. Which is it going to be? Hmm. I'm mm. guessing the window Kofi has is bigger. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then he's going to help Kofi. Okay, you can add a plus one to that. Okay, plus one. Oh, no. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you got a messy critical. Well. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if you would, click on your token on the map, and at the very top, this could go very badly, um, hit the compulsion button that is further to the end. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> claim your dominance over that window. Do it. <laughs> you, you have to keep in mind with your role play from now on, you have to dominate another person, whether that be one of your friends like Nathaniel or Jessica or someone outside. But keep that in mind. It is you want to dominate someone. I, I got this, Nathan, really. I, I know I'm new at all this, but I really I got this. <laughs> It's going to take a lot more than that. <laughs> more? Yeah. Um, you think a bit like uh, you have to get someone to not exactly cower in front of you, but, you know, just like make someone feel little and dominate them, if you know what I mean. Not just say, oh, no, thanks. I've got oh, this. Okay, gotcha. Like, right now, I have to do that. <laughs> well, not right now. Uh, you can do okay. it later, but you have to keep that in mind with your roleplay, and uh, it will take willpower to uh, not do it in certain points. Okie dokes. <laughs> so, but right. with a five, you do manage to shield the windows, covering them with bed sheets, and finding some what looks to be duct tape in one of the cupboards, you manage to um, tape it down and make sure that it's um, light tight. Meanwhile, Jessica, 
with a two, you get most of it done, but there is light peeking in in some corners, uh, moving onto the side of the room. You get that if someone were to lay on one side, they'd be safe, but light would be gently coming in on the other side. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go check and see how they're doing. Uh, how they're doing. Uh, uh out there. <laughs> okay. Out there, you will. By the way, where's the box right now? Where did you put it? Oh yeah. Uh, the 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 box is just chilling towards the entrance. I I want it figured we'd find the best place to put it based on uh where we get the most light coverage. Okay. At this point, Kofi, could you make me another frenzy check? Difficulty two. Oh gosh. Oh, Kofi, you're not having a good That's day. That's not gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, two. Oof. Yet again, you push the beast down. But damn, that box is smelling good. I just need to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you have some time until then, unfortunately. And at this point. Who would be closest to the box? Probably me if I put it by the entrance and the bathroom's like near the entrance. Okay. At all. Make me a wits awareness. <laughs> I said that right, right? Yep. You did. Congrats. Yes. I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered. Oh, man. Still, you, <laughs> you barely hear coming from the box. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Nope, 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 nope. I'm not opening any box that came from fucking crazy town. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You're, you're gonna have to st 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 hang out there for a little bit longer. I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> you say that to the box? Uh, uh, <laughs> she's, she's, she's thinking it real loud. <laughs> real loud. <laughs> okay. Um, she, she will kind of, uh, put her ear to the box and kind of listen in a little bit more see if she can uh, hear anything else okay well uh, make me another check this time with the two How do I manage? <laughs> One. One. You put your ear against the box, and it is silent on the inside. No movement. No speaking. And as you kind of place your ear there, right where you place your ear, you'll hear tap, tap, tap. Hmm. She's gonna tap back. How do you tap? Just like a... You'll hear back. Very... In quick but quiet uh, taps, you'll hear tap, 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 tap. No morphs code. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> she'll 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 tap back a, a, a like a like a uh, another like. <laughs> You'll hear a very small voice say, "Black mouth." I I I I I want I want to say 
Yes, but do do you mind waiting just a little bit? As you say that, you will begin to hear a few notes, music notes. Oh fuck me! Yes. <laughs> You'll just hear what sounds like maybe two, three seconds of maybe something like a piano. No, it's not that. It's bells. Maybe like a music box. But then it stops. Music box. Um, she's gonna pull her ear away from the box and uh, no, I, I'm, I, it's, I, yeah yeah um we should get to we should we should where's the where where the hell is hector <laughs> did, Nathaniel, did you call him like i asked um he would have called a while uh, Jess was having her moment with the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These two just see her just like tapping the box and uh -huh. shaking her head. So you want to call Hector, Nathaniel? Yeah. Okay. It rings once, rings twice, and on the third ring, you'll hear Hector's voice coming over. What? And you'll hear um, what sounds like rain and what sounds like a motor. He is still driving. You also hear what sounds like police sirens close by. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, do I even want to know where you are right now? <laughs> I hit an old lady! What the f- <laughs> Why did you hit an old lady? It wasn't by accident, you idiot! I mean, no, it was on purpose! <laughs> and, uh, I'm really not sure with you. <laughs> She's fine. I only clipped her. <laughs> I can't really control this thing. And you will hear the sounding of um, tires um, kind of squeaking as they... He's, he's probably trying to do a drifting maneuver on a moped. I can't drift. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you will hear him just say, uh, I'm fine. And then the phone will quickly go dead. Huh. Great. So, uh, hey Jess. Um, guess you got into more trouble. He said he's fine though. Just hit an old lady, and now the police is after him again. <sighs> Did he tell you where he was? No, no. Just said that he was fine. Hmm. <laughs> you, you, you just you just, you just see just as her eyes just go wide and she just her her hand just goes under her chin for a second and that boy ain't right <laughs> <laughs> oh Uh, she's gonna call him. You go try and call him, okay? I'm gonna try uh, to call him next. Okay, it rings once, she's angry. twice, <laughs> three times, four. There is no pickup. How close are we to? Um day to sun to sunrise what time is it you're already starting to feel tired you it's very soon <sighs> um. 
you doing anything? Now's the time. <laughs> Gee. Uh. She'll get a hold of Jace, um, sending him a text message asking if he has any people that can go and look for Hector. Okay. He'll message you back saying, I have some contacts, I can see what I can do. Thank you. Um, Kofi, did your moped have a license plate on it? Yes. What was the license plate number? Do you know it off the top of your head? Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, Kofi. Tell her. Yeah, tell me, tell me what the license plate number is. Yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> tell, tell the number and the letters. Yeah, I literally me. almost rattled off my own license plate. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me write down mine and then see what's the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, the, that's the trick tap, and there is none. <laughs> It's G M V G M V. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Um, six two four nine. There we go. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, she's just gonna t text it the uh the the license plate number, um, and then a description of the moped, and then a description of Hector, so that way his uh his goonies know who to look for. <laughs> Okay. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in case you need it later. Yeah. Don't the, don't uh, want the lore to be uh. Can be messed up, yeah. yeah. And longest, I mean, that's like New plate. York style. I don't know what <laughs> other license plate styles are like. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Uh, while you're doing that, Kofi, what would you be doing as a? As um, Jessica is kind of worrying about and talking to Jace. Can I hear any um, barking <laughs> in the distance or like or like on this floor or anything? You can make me a wits perception. Oh, awareness. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Awareness. <laughs> um, wits awareness. Can I add my specialty for dogs? If you're looking just for a dog, then yes. I love that. <laughs> okay. Um, I already forgot what you told me. Oh, here it is. Awareness. Uh, wits. And one. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. <laughs> Another messy critical. All right. <laughs> Hit your token. Hit the uh, compulsion. If you get hunger, this is going to go very badly. It is, isn't it? Um, hunger. Oh, oh my god! No. <laughs> no. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> so, Kofi, I'm going to uh, ask for you to do another frenzy roll now. Difficulty is now free. Um. Frenzy. You just had to jinx it, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, you just had to jinx yeah. it, didn't you? Well. So, that's... Sorry, you can have her. <laughs> well, that's... That's, that's, that's something, alright. <laughs> okay. No. So, Kofi. Have you? As you go over to the door to try and listen out for the dogs, which is right next to the box, like Jessica said. Yeah. You will begin to smell as you listen out, and you can hear a dog down the hall. A, a small one, maybe a chihuahua. But one of the small breed. <laughs> but nice. the smell coming from that box is way, way better. And you can't take it anymore. The beast takes over. And you both see as Kofi reaches down, grabs the lid of the um, crate, and tries to rip it off. Make me a strength brawl roll. Strength. 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 Strength.
I'd like to try to tackle her. After this roll, you can. Cool. Good thing I'm not high much in those. Okay. <laughs> you grab the box and you pull with all your strength and you do more damage to your fingers than you do to the actual box itself as you get a few um, splinters in your fingertips. But uh, <laughs> Nathaniel and Jessica, you see the same look that you've seen many times before in Kindred. She has lost it. What are you go both doing? We don't have the time. <laughs> we don't have the time. <laughs> uh, this place is run down, ragged and old and shit. Um, any any like loose wood I can easily just grab and <laughs> her in the heart with. <laughs> Uh, loose wood? No. You could break a chair if you wanted, but that's gonna take a little bit of time. Mm. Nathaniel, what are you doing? Getting between a frenzying vampire while he's <laughs> still a zombie, that's for sure. <laughs> Nathaniel hides in one of the cupboards. <laughs> So, Jessica, you no, have a choice. Just... Yeah? Oh, wait, I brought my weapons with me. Um, you did? I did. I'm just going to grab one of my stakes. I'm going to... Okay, <laughs> Kofi, as you Ooh. go down to try and rip off this... Um, the lid of this, you will see Jessica coming at the side of you with a stake, and she's going to try and hit you, so... Jessica, make me a melee dex, and Kofi, make make me a dex athletics. Athletics. Dex. These tunes. Ooh. Just got a four. Okay. Now, unfortunately, you do need to do a certain amount of damage with a stake to actually. Yeah. Um. So you will do one damage. I... So Kofi, as she comes down uh, with the stake hitting you in the chest, it will go in maybe an inch, and you will take one superficial damage. So mark that off. As it hits you, it hurts. Um. Mark that off on health. Just uh, okay. hit. You, it should be a little line through it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, with that, let's see. Kofi, this this kindred you have met just today is now stopping you from getting your food. You need to fight back. What do you do to fight back against Jessica? Oh no. Um I think Kofi would try to <laughs> read her sheet because she doesn't know what she can do. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wouldn't help. I guess mesmerizer to be like leave me alone. <laughs> okay. In that case. Uh, can she use mental disciplines while in a frenzy? Yeah, can That's I? right. You can't. You are too bestial. Physical, you can. Oh. Mental, you cannot. So... So, then... so I would have to fight her, or could I, like, run away? You cannot run away. You cannot run away from your food. That's true. All right, yeah. So I think she's just going to try to... Uh, you have a weapon. Like, you have a knife. Oh, I do have a knife. I thought I only had the tuning fork. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's gonna yeah, she's gonna try to stab her. I guess. Okay, make me no. a dexterity melee. Dexterity melee. And I assume I'm a dex yes. athletics to try to to try to uh, <laughs> dodge that. No, you just get hit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ah. Yeah, go around. Got it. Thanks. Aha. 
So I'm just so once the sun starts to rise, do we all just fall asleep? Oh, you you somehow get it. Uh, it goes to the aggressor, which is you, Kofi. So you stab her back and do one superficial damage to her. Oh no! <laughs> that that's fine. I'm more so just using this as a means to keep her distracted while the sun comes up. That's a good point. And the okay, sun good. is coming up. You will both get. An extra one round to do stuff, but I will roll something for Kofi now. On a two, one or two, she will go for the ch uh, the box again. For a three or four, she'll go for you, um, Jessica. Okay. The box. Cool. So you get a move first, Jessica, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to just try to get her again. Okay, go ahead. Uh, make me a dex athletics, uh, Kofi, and you make your attack. Athletics. <gasps> Not like this. Oh, wow. no. <laughs> okay. So, this is what happens. Jessica, you get stabbed and you look down. Son of a bitch. She just ruined your favorite leather jacket. And you look back, and she's losing it. She looks down at the box. You know what she's going to try and do. And you can feel the brew heart inside brewing up. And the beast <laughs> getting out of control. But before that, hit your token and hit the uh, compulsion. There it is. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Uh, Honest to God, it could be worse. <laughs> so, you uh, look at Kofi, and with one swift movement, you not only stake her, but you take her off her feet and pin her to the door as your stake goes through her chest, out her back, and out the uh, front door, a, maybe about an inch, and you actually <laughs> pin her to the wall. Kofi, you go still, frozen. Still aware of your surroundings, still able to see here, but you are paralyzed as you have just been staked in the heart and your body goes still. Oof. <laughs> oh, so I'm aware of what's going on now. I'm not like yes. in a frenzy frenzy. You, uh, Sorry. <laughs> I'm actually not sure about that. <laughs> I don't know if you stay in frenzy while you're staked. Hmm. I mean, hmm. it doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, yes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you are only able to speak, move, or anything. Okay. The most you can do is literally move your eyes a little bit, and that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. She's just going to be look. She's going to look around, but she's going to look, like, absolutely terrified looking around. <laughs> okay. And at this can point... Can vampires cry? <laughs> yes, they can. Blood. Oh. Uh, maybe she shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. She's terrified. In that case, as you pin her to the wall, the question is, as the sun is now coming up, Jessica, would you like to try and stay awake or do you want to just pass out? Um, I want to know if I have enough time to... Okay, uh, I guess it depends how well did they cover the like the room as a whole the front room is really well um blocked with uh, for sunlight in the bathroom okay. um it's partially blocked all right um so what i'm going to do is i am going to see if i can run to one of the cupboards i'm going to shove myself in a cupboard for the evening <laughs> okay uh, make me a dex athletics check. Okay. I don't see anything for um bendiness, so yeah, athletics. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh no, that's fine. You that's uh, fine. <laughs> with a wad, you try and ram yourself into one of the cupboards, but. All you do is uh, break the side of the cupboard. Well, that's fine. Uh, that, that's why I gave the man extra. 
And Kofi is still pinned to the door like a um, a coat hung up. Nice. <laughs> and at that point, if you're not trying to stay awake, Jessica, yep. you are going to fall. And Kofi, you also lose consciousness, leaving Nathaniel alone in the room with the box all day long. <laughs> He'll be fine. So... Nathaniel, my friend, my brother, in this yes. room, all alone for about, well, most of the day, the box right there next to you, what would you like to do? He's gonna stay away from the box for now. <laughs> Maybe, like, I don't know, push the... If he... If he can do that, I'll push the box a bit, like, in front of the door, so if room service does try to get in, there's, like, something stopping them. Okay. Then, as you go over and begin to push the box, make me a wits awareness check. Yeah, nailed it. You again hear a small voice coming from the box. Hello? Do you say anything? It's definitely too early for this. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna... not say anything. Okay. As you don't say anything, you'll hear again the sounds of the music coming from inside the box. And I would like you to make me a... A wit's composure roll. I'm gonna rouse again for that. Okay. Two. I'm gonna willpower that. <laughs> okay. That's a free. The music that you hear for just a few seconds, it sounds very, very familiar to you. Like maybe you've heard it before. But you push it underneath, just underneath uh, Kofi's feet as she is hanging from the door, uh, pinned there, and... Uh, yeah, you wedge it against there. What do you do from there? He's just going to keep an eye on the box for now. Okay. A few hours pass in the day, and every now and then you'll hear a tap, 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 and a small voice, you know, things like, is anyone there? Hello? Can I come out now? After a few hours, is there anything you wish to do? Um, <clears throat> he's going to just just still like stay a few feet away from the box, but. Mm -hmm talk uh back now when when like the boxes yeah in that case when the box will um you'll hear the voice again say hello
<clears throat> Hello. Can I come out now? Hmm. I'm not so sure about it yet. You might have to wait a bit longer. You will begin to hear what sounds like very quiet, very uh, soft weeping. Do you do anything? <clears throat> yeah, he, he's gonna like sit down next to the box, not open it. Um, but he's gonna say, I know it's probably hard being stuck in a box for so long, but we don't, we don't yet know if we can trust you. But you know me. Do I? Uh-huh. Well, from where do I know you? You were in that alley with that man. You gave him a coin. A coin, you say. It's quiet. If I let you out, would uh, do you promise to not run away? Or harm any of us. I promise. Oh god, the group chat. <laughs> Shut up, Jess. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I will. I will open it like a smidgen so you can breathe a bit better. Is that going to be enough for now? Uh huh. Okay, if you if you try to get out of the box, I will I will shut it again. Okay, so. Please behave. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Uh, yeah, he's gonna do what he said, but he's gonna like be on guard in case anything. If, okay. if the person tries to. So, on the sides of the box, you see the latches. Do you open them? Nathaniel? Sure. <laughs> sure, against my better judgment out of game. Yeah, he's gonna do that. <laughs> okay. You reach down and slowly begin to open the box. As you do, there'll be a few more tap, tap, taps. And you will undo the first one. And then the second. You now know that the box can be opened. Whatever is inside of this box does not just smash through and begin to run or attack you. But it is can be opened. And after a few seconds just staring at it, you will see the box lid begin to open just slightly. 
as you see what look to be little blackened, long fingernailed fingers begin to come out of the box, wiggling through the lid. Um, he's going to put his hand, like, on the box, and in case something goes wrong when he, like, talks now, just to slam it down again. Uh, but he's gonna say, hey, what did we say? No coming out yet, all right? You'll watch the very small fingers, uh, begin to go back inside. Thank you. Hmm. Are you... Are you alive? Do you, like, need water or something along those lines? Can I have some water? Yes, please. Okay, I'm gonna close the box again, and I'm gonna get you that water. You behave don't, while don't, I do that. Please don't close the box. Um, well, how will I know that you won't just leave again? I promise. Well, you know what? Maybe we should get to know each other a bit more first. I'll get you your water once I trust you, if you don't want me to close the box, and for now we can just talk. He goes silent for a moment. And then... You're going to feel a jolt in the box as the lid what same, seems like whatever is inside is pushing as hard as they can to open it fully. It will swing open for a moment. You have a choice to make. You can have a quick look inside and then try and close it or you can just close it or you can let it open. Is it the first choice? You want to take a little peek inside, okay. So, as you try and take a peek inside, they will get more of the box open, making it more difficult for you to close in a second. But as you try and get a glimpse, please make me a wits awareness. Looking inside this box, in fact, do that roll, in fact, uh, how many dots do you have in um, Auspex? Auspex, <clears throat> I think just one, no, two. Two. Roll two more d10s. Uh, tens. Two more. That is five. As the box swings open and you can't help but to take a look, you will see what looks to be a glowing person on the inside. A bright light shines out from this box. It's beautiful. It's innocent. As you will see a face that you've seen two times before. The face of innocence, and you'll see this little girl. She is 
in perfect condition. Long, beautiful hair, beautiful white dress, fingernails look fine, her fingers look fine. She's just there, laying in the box. And you then blink. And the light disappears. You no longer see this little girl as she looked in the visions that you had of her. On her head, she has bald spots. It looks like even some scalp damage and a little bit of blood seems to be seeking out. She looks heavily malnourished, extremely underweight. Her lips are parched and the skin is peeling. She has not drunk uh, any water in a, quite a while. Her fingernails are overgrown and heavily bruised. You see bruises all around her. You see scars and open wounds and still healing wounds. Like she has been like she has been through surgeries. Some old, some new. She stares back at you with only fear as you see what look to be wet marks around her eyes as she has been crying. What looks to be for a long time. Her feet are bare and heavily nod as it looks like she's been barefoot for a long time. And she just stares back at you. Would you like to try and close the box? Mm, no. No, he's not gonna close it. He'd feel bad if he did that. <laughs> The girl will just stare at you as she holds what looks to be a heavily damaged but still functional music box. One that you saw her holding in a vision. Do you say anything? You know what? And he's gonna hold out his hand for her to take. Just just hold my hand. We'll get you some water. Then I'll see if I might get some food service to come here. You'll see a small smile across her face as she begins to try and climb out of the box. It is difficult for her. But with your help, she will begin to come out, and she can barely walk, but with your help, I'm guessing you'll take her over to one of the chairs or the bed? Yep. Okay. You will rest her down, and she will just hold tightly to her music box. You get her some water? Yes. <clears throat> As you pass her the water, she will fiercely begin to drink it. And then look back at you and just say, Can I have another? Yeah, sure. Just, just give me a moment. I'll get you all the water you need. You hand her even more water, which she will down quickly. And she will just remain seated on the bed, now playing with her music box. As she kind of, for a second, looks at Jessica, who is laying flat on the kitchen floor, and then at Kofi, who is being pinned to a wall. And it doesn't seem like it scares her. She just looks blankly at her music box.
would you like to try and order food? No, no. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna say he I completely forgot Kofi was hanging on the wall. <laughs> I'm just gonna say he, he saw Kofi again and then was like, Nope, you know what? That that girl can wait. <laughs> At this point, you will see her begin to get under the covers and then lay down. And it looks like she's going to try and sleep. And she even begins to tuck herself in. Do you do anything? He's just gonna <clears throat> sit down, like, on the side of the bed where she's she's not, like, trying to sleep. And just, just keep, keep an eye on her. Okay. In that case, shortly after that you begin to watch her, she will eventually drift off to sleep. And there is something very warming about watching her sleep. She just seems to, you know, when you have been out and uh, been exercising or been for a lot in one day and you just need to collapse and drift off. That's what she kind of does now. As soon as her head kind of really rests on the pillar, she just seems to fall unconscious. And I'll say that as you waited most of the day, at this point, night has fallen yet again. And Jessica, would you roll me a rouse check? Uh -huh. As well as Kofi, because there is a chance you might go into Topo. <laughs> Kofi, you there? Kofi says that she would be right back. Damn it! But yes, uh, <laughs> Jessica, you will wake up with your face on the kitchen floor and uh, you'll just begin to shrug it off and start to get up. What do you do? Mm -hmm. As you get up and see the box at your side is now empty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nathaniel, don't don't worry. She's Nathaniel. girls there. Um, I. As he says this, as you turn around to look around the room, you will see what looks to be what I described earlier is a very hurt, bruised, malnourished little girl sleeping in the bed. Kofi, make me a rouse check. Oh, you lucky duck. Okay, you do not go into Topo. You would know, well, that's Jessica, good. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> if you were to remove the steak, uh, Kofi would, I believe, be out of frenzy by now. Still not fed, but out of frenzy at least. I believe so. I still don't trust her. To be unstaked. Um, you would know you'd need some food for her. And we don't know her predator type. 
or we don't know what she eats. So no, you do not. <laughs> um, uh, need to go and eat. Should I get anything for... And she's going to point to the girl. That'd be nice, yeah. A happy meal. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. And um, she's just going to... Look down to her, her probably bloodstained shirt. Mm -hmm. Look back up to Nathaniel. Uh, can I borrow your shirt? Yep. Here you, here you go. <laughs> cool, and she's just gonna quickly change so she doesn't have bloodstained clothing. Uh, <laughs> and then she'll, uh, she'll head out. I imagine that, uh, <laughs> for some reason Jessica's build, she's like more muscly. And, uh, Nathaniel's shirt is like a little tight on her. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she grew a little bit, but like she still got that uh, that that you know that that the dexterous form. <laughs> oh, okay. Then yes, it would fit fine. <laughs> oh, um, yes, that dexterous form. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the dancing, the dancing. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know when you need to go strip. <laughs> but, uh, exactly. If you would like to, are you going hunting? Yeah. Are you going hunting for you and Kofi, or just you? Um... I am going to say just me for right now. Um... And then... If I have time after I grab the child a happy meal... <laughs> Uh, then I'll see if I can find some some means of feeding her. Okay. It it might. I'm not gonna lie, Kofi. It might be rats, because uh, I don't know what she eats. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. great. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, make me a okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> hunter's roll. Okay. is this music i don't know you're playing it eight successes eight successes jesus yep <laughs> yeah <Okay. laughs> you find exactly what you're looking for you're able to mm -hmm. feed how much would you like to feed i'm gonna feed two two you go down two also, Kofi, you remember you're at five hunger right now. So uh, up yours to five. Happy. And uh, you are able to get a happy meal from McDonald's. But the question is, and I need to know this for the story. It's a mm -hmm, big question mm -hmm. is, uh, do you get her a toy with the happy meal? Of, of course I do. <laughs> okay. What kind of monster do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> the brutal kind. <laughs> No, she doesn't hate kids yet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now would you like to try and find something to eat for Kofi? This will be another yes. roll. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say make another hunter's roll, but if you if it goes low, it's gonna be something that she cannot usually feed off of. Okay. <laughs> you know you go out and you try and find a person that maybe kofi you know she's kind of into music so maybe someone who's into music or looks to be in a band that's the right thing but you just can't find anyone and you just you kind of get worried about leaving uh, them alone for so long 
and you see what looks to be a nearby um looks to be like a um what they call them stray dalmatian uh not fully grown but still kind of young dog if you wanted to grab it <laughs> oh oh man <laughs> You're worried about well, the dog, but not so worried yeah. about the little girl. <laughs> I got the girl a happy meal. Sure, I'll fucking take yeah, the dog. Well, get Kofi a happy meal now. Okay. <laughs> I brought dinner. As you grab the dog that looks innocent and looks like it only wants to please you, Stop. you will get flashes of a other dog that you left behind. Another oh, no. dog. That you probably had a hand in killing. And now you're about to feed another dog to Kofi. It's a dark world indeed. <laughs> just, just, just silently cries. <laughs> the dog licks your cheek. As it oh no! It's finally found, found an owner. <laughs> but eventually you will get back to the hotel as you enter, you will kind of bring in the dog who is so happy and just so wagging its tail. <laughs> it's in a warm place, no longer on the street. You streets. know what, though? So Kofi, Kofi's the monster. She's going to be eating it. And Jess is going to cry. <laughs> Should have uh, just brought her fucking man to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, you have the dog there. You have Kofi there. Would you like to unstake her? I'm gonna. The dog's eyes get bigger and bigger, looking oh, at you. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm going to take take the child, like in my in my arms. I'm gonna bring her to the bathroom, close the door, so she doesn't have to see what's about to happen. Um, I'm gonna unstake Kofi, and I'm just gonna go in the bathroom with the girl, okay. close the door, and be like, well, we're gonna wait this out for a second. Leaving Nathaniel <laughs> in the room. <laughs> yep. Okay. The girl <laughs> remains asleep, as she seems to be exhausted, as you take her in your arms, and you grab the steak out of Kofi, and quickly shut the door to the bathroom. Kofi, there is a very cute Dalmatian dog looking at you. <laughs> Would you like to rip it apart? Fortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You pet the dog two times, and then the beast will not be denied any further. And you just go into the side of the dog's throat, and you drink oh. everything. You may take oh. off two. Oof. All right. Looking down, you will see a very cute looking dog no longer moving as its eyes slowly <laughs> shut forever. Uh. Yeah, so I'm bad. that. I'm that much of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jess um, just has a flashback. Poor Zach. Um. Yeah. Is there is there still like a hole in my chest? Uh, yes, there is. It's you know it's starting to heal, but uh, mm -hmm. it's still there. And I remember everything that happened, right? Yes, everything. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah, you'll thank me later for that. Yeah, she's gonna <laughs> like carefully put the dog down on the ground. No, actually, no. She's you already put the... put the dog down, Kofi. <laughs> the dog she's gonna put the dog in the freezer. Oh my god! <laughs> <In> the freezer <laughs> to give it a I... proper burial later. <laughs> These people are gonna come back in at some point, and I I have a great suspicion that we're gonna forget the dog in the freezer, and they're gonna like <laughs> open up and just <laughs> see a frozen dog. That's... Just see yes. a frozen dead dog. <laughs> Psychos were staying here. To be fair, in these types of hotels, they probably found worse. Worse, yeah. 
So yeah, she takes the dog, put it in the freezer, and she like looks at Nathaniel and be like, "Uh, as, sorry about all of that." As you uh, place the dog into the freezer, you will see that it's very small collar that was probably given to a past owner, and the name of the dog will just say Lucky. Unlucky dog. <laughs> Um, no, she's gonna leave the collar on there. She doesn't want that. <laughs> oh, no. And then she's gonna go over to the door that, uh, into the bathroom door and knock. And kind of be like, sorry I stabbed you. I ate already. Um, I think I'm cool now. Thanks for the dog. <laughs> Wait, you like, you, you, you were, you, you like eating and animals i was just taking a random guess i i was gonna bring you a rat i mean i don't prefer rats but i'll do it i will i mean the other day i had a horse hold on give me a second what <laughs> what the other day i had a horse jesus <laughs> well while all of that happens nefendi is just gonna go and check on the girl again yeah um yeah. Then you uh you open the door. Well, J Jessica, do you allow the door to be opened? Um, <laughs> I am reluctant. Okay. Eventually, just the door because will... I yeah. I just because I don't know if Kofi's gonna like fucking you know flip shit and try to eat the child again. So uh. <laughs> I'm cool, I'm cool, I swear. He says that as a little bit of fur is on the side of her lip. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly open the door. You'll all see, and for the first time you now, Kofi, really, you'll see the child sleeping in Jessica's arms. Is that what was in the box? No, we adopted a random child while you were out cold. Of, of course, that's what was in the box. <laughs> I, I'm just asking. I oh, didn't know. Nippy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so she has a heartbeat, right? Or no? Yep. You can even... Uh, she's so thin that you can actually see the blood pulsing throughout her veins. Yikes. And why does the big magic guy want this kid? Not a clue. Huh. Well. Wow. Well, we did it. Um, is that it? Do we just drop this kid off now? Um. Probably eat. Uh. I don't, I don't. I don't necessarily feel comfortable bringing a small child to a grown ass man who refers to himself as Papa Skulls. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. Uh oh. Um, Either way, I can't go. So it's a. It's not my decision whether you two go. But I suggest if you do, don't tell him we let her out of the box. Oh. Were we, we not supposed to open it? I have no clue, but I don't want to find out. Did he say anything about it? I don't think he mentioned anything about he, not he opening it. He never the said, box. uh. No, he never said that you couldn't open it. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, I guess we had to take the box, but um, maybe we get the kid fed and. But... I, I bought her something to eat, so I'm just waiting for her to wake up at this point. Oh, this you sucks. Say that, <laughs> you will hear a small voice say, "Copying Kofi." This sucks. And then she will look up at you, Jessica, and say, Hello, Jessica. Hmm. She'll, uh, she'll, she'll grab the bag of food and just kind of, like, fall to a knee so that she's eye level with the child and uh, hand her the bag and... Y you, you should... You should eat something. There, there's a, there's some food and uh, uh, some water and a chocolate milk in there for you. As you say that, her eyes will light up like a child's would, and she'll kind of go over to the bag and begin to open it, and just begin to tuck in in the bathroom, uh, putting her food on like the top of the toilet seat and just begin to eat it. Oh my god. <laughs> she will grab the toy as well and begin to just like hold it in her hand, never dropping the uh, music box, always having it on her. Um... So when did you get that music box? I, I make music myself, and I love music. So you must love music too, right? Mm-hmm. My, my mommy gave it me. Oh, and where is she? <laughs> She'll Coffee! Kind of... <laughs> she will uh, nod like, you know, like, I don't know. And who are you? I'm Kofi, and what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. That's a very nice name. Um, so, uh, Sarah, I'm just wondering, how did you get inside of a box? That's so weird, right? Man put I mean, me we're all weird. A man put you inside. Mm hmm well, That sucks. Uh, right? Yeah. Hmm? She'll grab some off fries and shove them in her mouth and nod along. Let, let her let her eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, Sarah. So we leave her in the bathroom? <laughs> Look at this counter um, space we got. <laughs> Would you like to take what? her food and put it on the counter? No, no, yeah. no. Oh, sure. Give her, give her an actual place to eat, you not know, a toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you take her food, uh, she'll kind of uh, give you like sad eyes, but then begin to follow you as you make your way out of the um, bathroom. <laughs> Almost like a baby duckling following its mother. Mm-hmm. And she'll get, uh, she'll get the girl set up in the chair and just kind of watch her eat. Um, are there any, like, glasses or anything? You mean cups? Yeah, lots of cups. Yeah. In the, uh, uh, she'll grab, like, one of the cups and, and do her best to just, like, rinse it out and make sure that there's no, like, you know, gross things in it. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and just kind of, like, put, like, chocolate milk in the put the put like the milk in the glass and stuff and just okay she will take it and begin to drink and she'll just eat allowing you guys to talk and discuss Jessica can I talk to you for a second 
her eyes just aren't leaving the child, but... Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can, we can talk. Yeah. Alone in in the bathroom. I'm <laughs> sure Kofi can... <laughs> I'm sure Take Kofi... Care of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sure. So I guess they make their way into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes. <laughs> yep, go ahead. I was muted that whole time. Uh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes, you uh, you go into the bathroom and you do you shut the door so no one can hear you. Um, sure. I mean, the family probably doesn't think that 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 isn't actually sure if that will uh work with the, the girl being well, whatever she is right now. Um, but but he's gonna shut it. Okay. And you are free to talk. So, I might have had a talk with Sarah yesterday, and and I I know her. I don't, not personally, but do you remember the girl I mentioned that always was in my visions? The, 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 that yeah is that is the, yeah that's <laughs> that's her music box and everything just a bit worse for wear but but yeah that's that's her She, well, I don't know. She also knows about the coins. She said she was here when I give mine away, so. You you don't think she'd be able to tell us where the other two are, then, do you? I'm not sure. I'm not. The only thing that I think I might. Not even that, it, but it seems like she was also experimented on, like the rest we found yesterday in the warehouse. Yeah. I guess we could ask her, though. Yeah. Yeah. It might. Listen, you guys gotta bring her to that mage and I don't know what a man who does nothing but causes death and who's quite literally like I said, named Papa Skulls, which Weird name for a grown man, but okay. Uh, I don't. I don't get a good feeling from this, Nathaniel. I don't either. That poor girl looks like she's already been through so much. <laughs> I, I don't want an innocent soul to be hurt. Not 
not like that. Me neither. So... Where does that leave us? Do we... I mean, I guess we could ask her if... If, um, if she could describe the man that put her in the box. If, if it was proper skulls or... Yeah, well, it uh, probably was him. But I guess it's worth a shot. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta tread carefully. Oh, man. <laughs> this is. This isn't good. I, uh... Yeah. I got- I gotta make a- I gotta make a- Um... Uh, Nathaniel, uh, just make sure that she- she eats. I'll- I'll- I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take out her phone and... Leave the leave the room completely, and she's gonna try to call Hector. Okay. As you do that, uh, while that was happening, uh, Kofi, you're left alone with the child who is eating. Do you do anything? Yeah. Um. I think Kofi's gonna watch them go off, and then watch the girl. And then look at the music box and go, um, so you said you got that from your mom? Mm-hmm. You must cherish it, right? She kind of takes right. it and hugs it while looking at you. Hmm. Can I look at it? I love music. I promise I'll give it right back. Make me a charisma persuasion check. Dang it. <laughs> charisma persuasion. Or manipulation, technically, if you wish. Mm. <laughs> I have nothing in either of those. <laughs> <laughs> charisma. Oh, here it is. <laughs> she will quickly hug it tightly and just shake her head no and look kind of sad okay that's okay I have tons of instruments that I wouldn't let anyone touch even my dog he's a huge dog do you like dogs she, oh, no. as you say dog she'll kind of really like for the first time really smile smile and she'll look excited and nod her head yes Meanwhile, uh, right behind her, there is one freezing in a freezer. <laughs> As I said, I, I remember she didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sigh of relief. I forget. Does phones have, like, camera pics around this time? I forget. I don't remember. Phone, phones have cameras, but they are very bad. <laughs> okay, so that's excited. fine, though. So I show her a picture of Johnny... And like just random pictures of him. And I'm like, that's Johnny. He's a big fluff ball. Um, he's one of my best friends. Uh, but yeah, me and uh, I make music all the time. And he's always there with me. And he's kind of my protector. Um, so. As you say that, she will look happy, but then look a little bit sad and look up at you and say, can he protect me too? Well, depends. Um, if I'm going to be honest with you, uh, and uh, Kofi's going to look off to the side for a moment as if she's like hearing something else talking to her. And she's going to be like, I'm not going to tell the kid that. Um, 
out loud, of course, she says this. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she'll look back and be like, to be honest, he could protect you if you were with me, but I don't know how question, long you'll be with me. Question, him. Kofi. Mm -hmm. Yes. What you just said, uh, this ethereal voice, what, would mm -hmm. this, what did this voice say? It said, don't lie to her. <laughs> or like and something. After, after you say that, uh, I, you know, to that kid, um, mm -hmm. and speak out loud, you will look back at the kid and she'll say, you, you won't lie to me. Almost like she could hear it too. You heard that? She'll look a little embarrassed and just nod gently. What? You have no reason to... I don't know if you can hear inside my head <laughs> or the the absolute music and uh, orchestra that constantly plays in there, but that is nothing to be ashamed of. That's just the way we are, right? Have you always been like this? She'll quickly shake her head no. Oh, so this is new. Me too. At least six, seven years, I would say. But do you ever hear things you don't want to hear? She'll look again a little scared and frightened, but nod yes. Oh, wow. Well, you want to know my secret? <laughs> what mm -hmm. I do is that just like how you have that music box, I make my own music in my head. And, you know, sometimes I write it down, sometimes I don't, but I make my own music and I blast it all out so I don't have to hear everything everyone else says. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know what I mean, because you, you can hear me too. <laughs> She'll actually, a small giggle will come out at that. And at this point, as you say that, you will hear the door open behind her and you will hear the the door as you come into this room open as Jessica leaves and she'll quickly as the door shuts it makes a loud slamming noise you'll watch the girl kind of visibly shake for a second and then begin to calm down you're okay with us at least Nathaniel <laughs> do you come and join the in the main room or do you stay in the bathroom? Yeah, he's he's gonna go out and go to the others again. Okay. As Nathaniel walks out and joins you, uh, Jessica, you would like to ring uh, Hector, right? Yeah. Okay. It rings once, twice, and then answers. Hello. Where the hell were you? <laughs> Look, I sped off. I couldn't find you guys. I clipped an old lady. The police came after me. I lost the police. <laughs> I had to hide in a sewer. I'm fine. Kofi's moped is a bit scratched up, but it's fine. <sighs> How are you? We're, 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 we're good. We, we managed to find a motel. Um... We try to get a a hold of you, but uh, apparently Nathaniel wasn't able to tell you where we were. So, um, yeah, I'm... I was uh, I was being chased at that time. So, oh my god, okay. give him a uh, break. Uh, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. You have that weird box thing. All right, this is what we need to do. We need to group back up, go deliver the box, Hector. and then job done. Yeah. Hector. I'm going to text you an address. I want to get your ass over here right now. We have a bit of a problem. All right. You didn't break the box, did you? Just get over here. and She's going to hang up the phone and text him the address. You go back into the main room. Yeah. You'll also see as you begin to enter, there is a small gaping hole in the uh, front of this door. <sighs> the rest of you will see Jessica walk in. 
as a, at this point, you will see Sarah stop eating and go still for a moment, like frozen still. And then she will look around the room and see the trash uh, can next to her and quickly jump down and start to throw up everything she just ate. Oh. Uh, Nathaniel's gonna go over her and like like uh, pat her on the back like comfortingly. She'll just say in a soft kind of you know pathetic uh, almost hurt the voice just say my stomach hurts and she'll just get back up and go over and grab one more chip and kind of just eat it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, uh... <sighs> I'll go get her some medicine Just, just looks tired and defeated. at this point she just turns around and leaves the room again. <laughs> okay. What type of medicine would you like to get? I don't know. Petmo Bismol or no. antacid or no. I don't know what children take. <laughs> Was Kofi children just shouting Petmo both? Bismol. I don't know. Kofi, were you shouting both there? No, that was someone in the background. <laughs> okay. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a lot. okay, it's easy enough to get. Uh, going to a pharmacy, uh, getting those types of drugs is pretty easy. Um, gonna pick her up some like um anything with like electrolytes, so like a mm -hmm. Gatorade or uh electrolyte. Like we have Lucasade here. The fuck is Lucas? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Bless <It's> you. <laughs> It's a drink you're supposed to um, drink while you're sick, apparently. Yeah. Great taste. She'll grab like that ass. Chill, chill. Is there any like um? I know that a lot of like sports drinks have like electrolytes and stuff in them. Is there anything like that? <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> she'll grab you, that. You can see like a, a kind of, well, 2002. I guess Red Bull would still be around. You can see some Red Bulls. Red, uh, uh, that's not that's not a sports drink. <laughs> that is. Did you say energy caffeine. drink? No, I said sports drink, like oh. Gatorade. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> or uh, like, we don't have Gatorade here, so. Or uh, like the equivalent. Yes. Powerade. Find some. <laughs> Powerade. British aid. That's what it's called. Here. British aid. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. But, uh, Wonderful. Love it. Yes, you get one of those drinks easily enough. Um, but as you're out, uh, Kofi and Nathaniel, do you guys do anything while Jessica is out? Yeah, I think I... <laughs> Why do you sound always so apologetic when you say it? Yeah! Because <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't want to trigger anything for this kid. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I think Kofi's just gonna come over again and say, so what did they feed you? Or what have you been eating since you... I forget she's a child. So what have you been eating since you've been in this box? They gave me bread. Mmm. Okay, so you did eat food. Or she did eat food. Okay. Um. Okay. Well... I would say rest up a bit before, um, you know, before we go out. Do you like, are you able to go out in the sun at all? She... You kind of <laughs> don't look disturbed when you saw everything that happened before. I'm sorry. I'm just. She kind of cocks her head to the side and then just looks at you and just smiles a little bit and says, I'm not like you, silly. Okay, thank you for... I'm happy you understood what I was trying to say to you. I'm happy we have this connection. <laughs> <laughs> so just giggle at that. Um, I think... Uh, oh, yeah, Kofi is going to relay to Nathan... Uh, or Nathaniel. That, um... Yeah, so she can also read our thoughts. Do you know this? 
Like, um, or maybe not our thoughts, but like, because, you know, I hear stuff too, and she heard it. I mean, you were talking about some visions before, right? What was it? You have those, right? You have w- visions. Those yeah. That you are clan- All yeah. the time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know what you see in those, but doesn't Sarah look a bit familiar to you? To me? Um. Or. Let me check my notes. A... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> nope, she, uh, this is my first time seeing her. Well, then we have, well, then you will probably not. Okay. I had some too, and she apparently knew me from those. So, yeah, I would believe you when you say she might be able to read our thoughts. Hmm. Sarah, uh, Sarah, this is really weird. Have you ever heard of or met someone or heard in the distance or along the wave of someone called Clara? Maybe? She will go a little stiff and just say, actually not say, she'll just nod yes. And can you still hear her? She will slowly shake her, her, her head. No. Well, it was worth a try, right? Um. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Kofi's gonna like wipe at her eye. I'm like I'm gonna just gonna go in the bathroom for a bit. Um. Thanks, Sarah. Be safe or whatever, and she's gonna go to the bathroom and cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you make your way into the bathroom as the blood tears begin to fall from your eyes. Um, <laughs> do you try your best uh, not to have the stain your clothes? Oh well, actually, you were staked last night, so they're already ready. So, <laughs> it's all. Dang it! This is my good coat too. Whatever. It's my only coat. Um. No, she's just messy crying. Okay. <laughs> Having a moment. While you're in the bathroom, Nathaniel, do you say anything to Sarah or do you wait for Jessica to return? So, Sarah. And stop me if it should at any point become too much to think or talk about, but um, would you be able to describe the man that put you into the box to me? As you say this, he looks scared and holds on tight to her music box again. Looks like she is scared. Mm. The phantom's gonna like go next to her and just like open his arms in case she wants a hug right now and just say it's it's all right. You don't you don't have to tell me if it's too much. She will gently fall into your arms and just lay her head on your chest. Make me a charisma persuasion check. I don't think I'll need it, but I'll rouse for that again. Okay. They are free for you right now. It is a two. All right. 
Would you like to willpower? Let me see, because I think I'm pretty... It's a new day, remember? Mm. Oh, yeah, true. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna willpower. <laughs> As she falls into your arms and she goes silent for a moment, she will look up at, at you into your eyes and reach up with her hand and just place one of her fingers onto your temple. And there will be a quick flash of an image in your mind, Nathaniel, as you see this person shrouded in shadows and walking towards you or at least you don't feel like it's you maybe walking towards Sarah you see this person oh no you see it for a second he's smiling he gets closer and closer and the hand reaches out to grab, and then you no longer see it. Anything else? Mm, no, for now, he's just gonna like hug her tighter. And, and okay. then just wait. At this point, Jessica, you would return. Walking into the room, you will see uh, Nathaniel and uh, Sarah kind of just hugging. Uh, mm. Nathaniel looks, what would you say Nathaniel looks like after seeing something like that? Um, probably concerned for, for Sarah, but yeah. Okay. And you also hear soft weeping coming from the bathroom. What do you do? Uh, I, uh, I'm going to go and see what's in the bathroom that's crying. <laughs> Right, Kofi, uh, when she opens the door, what sight does she see? <laughs> Kofi definitely has, like, or not tear tracks, I guess they're blood tracks, down her face. And she's, like, wiping her face with, like, her coat uh, a little bit and then started to grab tissues because she realized it's just smearing her coat. Uh, <laughs> and she, like, looks up and she's like, sorry, I just had a moment. <laughs> What the hell did I miss while I was at the store? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm okay though. You don't have to worry about me. She's just going to. <laughs> she's just gonna go and grab a tissue and offer it to Kofi so she can wipe the blood stains off of her face. <laughs> She'll take it. She's. Like, I'll be out in a moment. Okay, just gotta okay. text someone. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go and check on the child now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> do that. Do that. <laughs> okay. Bring the <laughs> bag of medicine and 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 British sports drink. <laughs> it's called a uh, limey laid. Ugh. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sounds repulsive. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Um. She, but she's just gonna lay out a bunch of stuff. Hello. Oh, I uh, I'm glitching a little bit. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can Can you hear okay, me? Now I can. Okay. 
cool. Um, but yeah, she's gonna just like uh, uh, take out uh, kids, <laughs> kids Petmo Bismol and 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 lime limerade or whatever it's called, uh, and it just kind of feed her medicine. <laughs> Most kids, when you try and feed them medicine, they will struggle and not want to take it. But as you offer it, Jessica, she is a good kid, and she just seems to take it. Uh, that should help with the uh, with the upset tummy. You just you you give that a little bit of time to work its magic, okay? Okay. Drink and drink this. This will this will help you too. She'll push the drink in front of her. She'll begin to uh, sup on it, only taking small drinks at a time. And at that point, the door will very fastly slam open, as oh a familiar God. voice will be heard coming into the room, as he is shouting at what sounds like a staff member. Yeah, I fucking got it. As you see. <laughs> Harold! There we go, Harold! <laughs> he comes around the door and sees the kid. What the fuck? Hector, language. Um, English. And he looks back at the kid. <laughs> oh. If Jess could get headaches, this would. <laughs> <laughs> Hers would be forming right about now. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Sarah, th this is this is our friend Hector. Uh, hello, Sarah. He'll go over and offer to shake her hand she'll kind of not do anything at first and then she'll slowly put out the hand and he will gently kind of shake it three times and then let go and then he will look at you Jessica and not say out loud but kind of mime it in his uh, mouth you know the uh what the fuck and her eyes are just going to go directly towards the box and then back at him and then to Sarah and then back at him. <laughs> His eyes will go wide like, oh. And then he will throw oh, some keys nod. to Kofi. Kofi, do you catch the keys? Yeah, she'll catch up. And be like, is it, is it still in one piece? Uh, yeah. Although it might have a um, a scratch on it or, or two. That's fine. It's experience. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, well. What are we doing? And he kind of looks around the room. Why, uh. I no, should probably. Uh, sorry, hmm? go. No, no, go ahead. No, you can go. Okay. Um, Fanel's gonna look at Chess and say, "Well, at least we know that it wasn't Papa Skulls who put her in the box." Who was it? I don't. No, I could. The best I could do would be to describe them. Like, bright, I think blonde, short, wavy hair, black eyes, maybe? Um, and the really unnatural smile. I mean, I would. Probably, if we are, were to ever cross that person, I would. I could probably say that that would be them, but I don't know much more right now. Mm -hmm. 
Well, if he didn't put her in that box, what could he possibly want? Hmm. I forget, does Kofi know the history of this home skillet or no? Of Papa Skulls? Uh, yeah. yeah. I believe so. No. Jace knew the history. You rolled and you didn't know anything. You know All that right, he's a okay. mage. You do know that he's a, a mage, a very powerful one, but that's pretty much it. Gotcha. Hmm. All right, no, so then I won't say anything. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he's trying to, like, fix her or something? Do you really think that a man by the name of Papa Skulls Maybe. I guess, I guess we're not gonna know until we bring him. Hmm. I mean, I guess that would be the best case scenario. Yeah. The man that I saw could be a vampire. Would be likely. So hmm. maybe he would just want to protect her after all. I mean, She's not one of us. I don't think he has a grudge against humans. Did you ask her about the coins? I didn't want to put that much on her. That's... We can, I mean, you can ask her now. She's here. Yeah. And she'll just lean over the counter. Hey, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You said that, uh, n n my friend Nathaniel here said that he saw you in, in a couple of, uh, couple of visions yeah I got I got a got a got a little question for you have you seen any of these uh gold little coins that the have a bunch of that Nathaniel gave away yeah, that one. She looks a little sad and almost a little scared and then says The one that he gave away she has it now. Who's got it? And she just says quietly, almost like she's trying to whisper it, like she doesn't want anyone to hear. She just says, The Red Queen. Hmm. Red Queen. Hmm. Now, is that an actual person in this vampire society, or are we talking? The, the name does not wonder familiar to any gotcha. of you. Gotcha. Maybe like Alice in Wonderland kind of deal. <laughs> Red Queen. She wants them. Hmm. 
Do you know why she wants them? He slowly nods yes. Do you mind? Do you mind telling me? You don't have to, but make a charisma persuasion check. Would you like to rouse? Yes. Okay. Could I assist with that? Uh, I will allow it for one extra dice. One extra dice? As you comfort her. Yes. I assume my looks mirror don't does not apply to this. We'll say no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> figured. Uh... Well, first of all, hit that button. Let's see if you punch this little child. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hunger. This child is smelling good. It's not but again. With a with a critical nine successes. She will look up at you and just say He wants them to keep the king asleep. The king? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Would this king happen to be one of us? And she kind of points to everybody. Out of game, do you mean vampire? Or actually, vampire, one of vamp 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 yeah. vampire, yeah. She will gently and slowly nod, yes. Would this king happen to be a man named Mithras? She again slowly nods, yes. Well, you are a remote child. Hmm. Thank, thank you for your for for answering those questions. She'll very cutely say and quietly just say, You're welcome. And then she'll take another drink. Mm. So, you guys have discovered a lot today meeting Sarah for the first time but you have a job to do and Hector will say while he moves over to you Jessica what are we doing here what's the plan I need to go and eat again but um, that's up to those two. I, 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 I can't. Um, I, 
I, I can't, I can't go. Um, so whatever we decide to do with, with the girl, um, that, that's up to, to you two. Hmm. Well, I just met most of you, but as far as I know, we have to get you back to normal, right, Nathaniel? In theory, yeah, that <laughs> would probably be the only way to got me back to normal but and he's just gonna look at Sarah yeah so how comfortable was this uh mage with you guys talking to him was he just do this and do that and then leave or was he like okay we'll sit down and have a conversation <laughs> He ripped the beast right out of me, so um Okay, well I yeah, think that, that should <laughs> <laughs> tell you everything. Right. Um, um he Well he was I don't know, probably as forthcoming as he's gonna get. Which wasn't necessarily a lot. Um but he heard us out at least and he well, we're still alive, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I really have no clue. Okay. Um, over the table. Why were? Why did you guys go to this mage again? Was there? I don't, I don't know. They were. Or I guess cool. <laughs> they were sent to the mage because the Camarilla um, in invited them here to London to do a job for them, a job they couldn't have their fingerprints on. They couldn't be seen uh, being involved with it and involved um papa skulls going to him and finding out some information that was in an envelope they were not allowed to open they handed over the envelope he looked at it decided um that he could help them but only if they did something for him in exchange which was retrieve whatever what was inside box 14 that was being held by the splinter group of the anarchs i see okay um, well, I, I don't know how, well, I mean, I do, I can tell how crazy powerful this guy is. Maybe if we can just ask, is he going to keep Sarah safe? Because, I mean, it seems like he just doesn't like us, but she's innocent. She's done nothing wrong. So maybe he's just take going to take care of her. That would be probably yeah, yeah. be the thing is though if we ask that while we meet up with him I don't know whether um, he tells the truth he'd oh, sure. get offended by us insinuating that he's gonna do anything bad to her and yeah if if he were to tell us that he's gonna do horrible things to her, I'm not sure if we could escape. That's true. Hmm. Um. I guess. Quick. Hmm. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no I'm still thinking. <laughs> okay. Qu a quick question out of game. Did we like? Was there a place we called to like make an appointment with? Papa Skull before, or did we just go there? We just went there and showed up. Ah. So we don't know if there's like a number or something we could call nope. before? You, uh, ah. you get the sense that, you know, you, he wouldn't give you his number um, even if he, you know, has one. Um, you get the sense that once the job's done, you have to go and just deliver it. Um, 
should I ask her if she knows anything about Papa Skull? I mean, if she wants to tell you. Okay. Sarah? Uh-huh. Um, do you know of a, know or have seen anything about a person named Papa Skull? She will look a little like she's thinking, and then she will look at you and just say, Little, he keeps me out. He keeps you out. Okay. He doesn't let me see him. <laughs> wow, this guy. Um, <laughs> it's got firewalls. Um, I say maybe. Oh, actually, no. Over the table. Will this mess with one of my? What are they called? Not tenants. Um. Convictions. Co yes, convictions. Tell me what your convictions are. <laughs> Never expose children to violence. That depends. Well, that's the one that I'm thinking. I mean, that depends if... Uh, if Papa Skulls intends to be violent towards her. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, well... In the end, I guess we still have to get you back to normal. And we don't know entirely what uh, PS has in store for Sarah. So, I mean, in the end, we still just have to do this. Because I, I also don't want to know what he'll do if he finds out that we do have her and just never gave her to him. That seems fair. And maybe she can, I don't know, reach out to us every now and then. Right, Sarah? You can do that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she will... <We're> all... <laughs> the little girl <laughs> who has been through so much trauma will reach over at Kofi and pat you on the shoulder and just say, it's okay. <laughs> We're all on the way on the network. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, does this mean that Nathaniel and Kofi are going to go see Papa Skulls with Sarah? Uh, yeah. And does this mean that Jessica is going to stay behind and try and block out anything that bad may happen to her? As you know that yeah. your kind is just not welcome there. Yeah. Okay. Are you planning on going now, Nathaniel and Kofi? Hmm. There wasn't a time limit, right? You can uh, probably guess that uh, the longer things go on, the worse Nathaniel will get. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's already got a busted pinky. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, yeah, maybe we go now-ish. Yeah, maybe we go now. At that point, just um, Sarah will look up and just say, "Where are we going?" We're gonna go see Papa Skulls. She will look at you, Nathaniel, and say, Am I coming? 
Yeah. Yeah. You're coming too. She'll look down at her music box and just say under her breath, Do I have to get back in the box? We'll... We'll, like, take the blankets with us and pad it out a bit so it's a bit more comfortable, but that's probably for the better. It'll keep you safer than if it were to just take you there. Kofi. Me hmm? Make me a wits awareness. Wits awareness. Two. That's all you need. You will instantly see that Jessica's hand begins to shake as she is scared. And the box over on the corner now open. On the lid side, you'll see scratch marks where she's broken her fingernails trying to get out. If you wish to take her in the box, she will do so because she trusts you all. But you will take a stain. Uh, I actually recommend before maybe when we get there, she can sit in the box. But when we're driving, and maybe we even take the scenic route and let her see. What's out there? Just before uh, we go in? We can... Well... If you... Are we out of game? Are we on the ground floor? You are mountain? on the ground floor, yes. Okay. I mean, you'd, you'd have to take her out the window, but I think that would work. Out the window? Yeah, yeah. since we're she is not... A heavily looking abused child keep that in mind oh right <laughs> she don't look like the picture no that i know i keep looking like at this. Right, right 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 right. i'm like she looks fine <laughs> that's what she used to um, look like i mean either way we were not seen coming in with a child you know that <laughs> <laughs> we were seen coming in with the box though <laughs> so <laughs> take that as you will I just tuck her in my coat I'm kidding I'm kidding that's even worse um okay um oh okay I'll wrap her in a blanket and go out through a different way and y'all just pull up and let me pull it, put her into the car And just bring the box. But I'm not driving. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. So, is that the plan? For you to take out uh, Sarah, wrapped up, and then Nathaniel to follow with the box? Like, wrapped up, but also, like, my coat is also on top of her, too. So it kind of just looks like I'm carrying laundry and my coat. <laughs> okay. In that case, they will begin to move towards the door. Nathaniel. Kofi. And... <gasps> oh! little girl, yes? And... <laughs> the dog. <laughs> No, You're, you are not. You will not take out dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the dog says we're the dog leaving. Stays. We're leaving the dog. You know. <laughs> Do you say out loud, the dog? <laughs> um. <laughs> no, I think I just said it out loud. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, then Nathaniel will will also say that out loud because he saw what what Kofi did to the dog. <laughs> yeah, I think she looks over to it and then she's kind of like, "Oh, maybe I should like go get that." But oh wait, if she thought it, um, you don't know. okay, cool, 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 cool. I think she just looks there and then she's like, "All right, uh, never mind, we're good." <laughs> So, yeah, that's it. As you move to the door, 
Uh, Sarah will turn around and look at you, Jessica, and just give you a little wave before she goes. Hmm. Moving out the door while wrapped up by Kofi and being taken. You will move out into the parking lot where the car is waiting. Kofi gets into the back and Nathaniel into the driver's seat. At this point, Hector will walk over to you and just kind of lean on you, giving you a small hug. So, Nathaniel, you will begin to drive. And you already know the location of Papa Skulls. You know where to go. It's going to take you a while to get there. And in the meantime, in the back seat, Sarah will just curl up with uh, Kofi and fall asleep for a bit of the trip, still wanting to rest. Is there anything you wish to talk about or do while in the ride towards Papa Skulls? Mm, nope. Um, Nathaniel's just gonna say, if you have any weapons with you, just leave them in the car. Okay. I don't want to <clears throat> unnecessarily anger him. Gotcha. Uh, I think she just takes her pocket knife and puts it in the car. Um, or she just empties her pockets in general. Because she's like, I don't know if they're going to count this as a weapon. She has like pencils and like a tuning fork and like just random crap. She's like, all right, okay, I'm good. That's it. Okay. On the way there. Is... Uh, yes. Oh, uh, is there anything I shouldn't mention when I'm in there? I'm very new to this. Just maybe let me handle it. Mm-hmm. You got it. Okay. <laughs> As you make your way, about halfway uh, to the actual club, um, the ye old London, it will begin to rain steadily and then getting heavier goes along and you'll see Sarah at this point is uh, wakes up and uh, looks out the window and she seems to enjoy the rain looking outside but eventually you will arrive outside the the club that you saw last uh, last time and you'll see the individual standing at the door kind of the bouncer of this place that you saw last time not standing at the front of it but on the inside near it you park the car and make your way down the stairs getting down to the lower levels next to the Thames the river of London do you just head on in or to the door I mean we're gonna have to get that kid into the box (laughs) That's true. So, yep. What do you say to Sarah? And again, keep in mind, putting her in that place that you can guess is a place that she has suffered so much trauma. No matter what, Kofi, you're still going to take a stain. Hmm. Um, oh no. Okay. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> if you want okay. her to get into the box, then yes. <laughs> okay. And what does the stain do again? A stain gives you a chance of lowering your humanity, making you more of a monster and less human. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Is it... It's a chance, Cost- not definitely. You'll roll at the end of the session, but if you roll bad, you will become less human. Oh no. Okay, you know what? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll put her in the box because we don't know what would happen. Okay. And I can't fight for anything. <laughs> in that case, uh, which of you would like to try and um, persuade her to go into the box? Um, if, if Kofi won't like go there first, Nathaniel's gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Can I assist? You can. Uh, okay. You can uh, roll persuasion. Uh, sorry, charisma, persuasion, and add a plus one. Yeah, she gives her her toy. She'll quickly hold on to it. While holding on to the music while, box still. <clears throat> while it's still free, I'm also gonna rouse. Okay. Four. It will take some time. And but the both of you promising that she'll be okay, convincing her she will get into the box, but as she does you'll begin to hear her slowly and quietly beginning to cry. She never wanted to be inside this box again. No. But on the inside, it will quickly lock. And you are free to take it inside of the ye old London. All right. You do. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, you make your way to the front door. And Kofi, would you? Oh, who would be carrying the box? Uh, Kofi could carry it. Okay. As you get up to the door, you will try to open it again, Nathaniel, but you cannot. Uh, but the man on the inside will see you walk over and open the door, looking at you, Kofi, in the box, and just say, Is this it? It, yeah. It's what we were told to get. He will move to the side and gesture for you to open, uh, to enter. Uh, Kofi walks in, looking around a bit. <laughs> On the inside, you'll see a few different people. And for you, Kofi, for the first time seeing other types of supernaturals, you will see a, a dark-skinned man tall with bright, glowing, almost green eyes. You will see a bunch of uh, free men in one of the corners, all of them with long, very well-kept beards, very strong-looking, and they just smell very different. And as you enter, they almost look at you with disgust. You also see in the other corner what looks to be a group of girls, and they are what seemingly are practicing what look to be magic. And they seem to be levitating and what looks to be different drinks, practicing almost. But the man will quickly begin to lead you towards the dark corridor, the same as last time. Do you both follow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though he's gonna lean into Kofi and say, just, just, it's gonna get weird. Don't worry. The things you might see will not, did, well, they at least haven't hurt me and Brandon last time. Okay. Uh, mm, yep. Mm hmm. Uh, she's going to stay quiet. <laughs> As you get to the hallway, it will disappear off into darkness, no lights. And Nathaniel, do you take the lead? Yeah, though he's going to like make sure to keep a um, hand on Kofi that they don't lose each other. Okay. Heading into the darkness. At one point, Kofi, you will just see Nathaniel completely disappear almost like there is a bar barrier of shadows and eventually you will yourself make your way inside feeling colder for a second and then emerging in a dark corridor in front of you a large 
dark door with what looks to be a shrunken head as a knocker on the front of it. Its eyes open and look around at you. Wow. Uh... Oh, did you see this last time? Uh, Nathaniel? She, like, whispers yeah. over. Yeah, that's... I was there last time, too. And he's just gonna go and knock. Okay. As you go up to the door and be, try to knock, the door will actually open before you can actually knock. Slowly creaking open, revealing the office on the inside. And behind the table, you will see Papa Skulls waiting patiently. Nathaniel's gonna step in and um, motion for Kofi to do the same. Yeah, she falls in with the uh, kind of holding the box a little bit tighter. Okay. As he sees you, Kofi, he will just say to Nathaniel, And who is this? She is the newest addition to my coterie. And since we needed some extra help to acquire what you wanted us to get. And did you get it? Yeah. She's holding the box you asked us to get right, right now. But inside the box... The girl is there. He will smile heavily. Very well. Place it over there. And he will gesture at the side of his desk. Kofi? Yes. <laughs> Kofi is gonna carefully walk over and gently place the box down. And then walk back over. Uh, and, oh no. Okay, no, 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 no. And, okay, yeah. And she's going to tap the box a little and then walk back over to Nathan. Okay. You will hear a little tap back. And you will hear Papa Skulls as it she begins to tap inside the box. And he will just say, quiet now. And the tapping will stop immediately. Very good. He will take out an envelope and hand it over to you, Nathaniel. He's gonna take it. He will then stand up, turn around, open a, con uh, a ca cabinet behind him, showing a number of jars filled with strange, disgusting abominations, small creatures, and he will take out one that looks similar to a jellyfish, but with mouths on all sides, hungrily snapping at everything around it. He will take the jar and he will simply place it on the desk and then push it towards you. Take it and leave. He's, he's gonna for a second think if, she, if he, he should ask if, if this will like make him get back to normal but but he stops himself before he can do it and just takes the, 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 the jar um, nods and says it was a pleasure <laughs> well I cannot talk today sorry <laughs> uh, it was a <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you, sir. And he's gonna take Kofi and walk out with her. Kofi is gonna look back at the box and then head out. <laughs> okay. 
on the way out. Kofi, as you look back, make me a wits awareness check. Two. Two. You know that this mage is extremely powerful. With a snap of his fingers, he could probably kill you both instantly. It makes it all the more harder when you see he pulls out what looks to be a rolled up piece of fabric and begins to unroll it on the desk. And just before you leave, you will see instruments, sharp instruments. As you take the steps out of the office, the door will begin to slowly creak shut, leaving you both in the darkened hallway. Kofi? Yeah. Take a, take a stain. Oh no. Two stains? <laughs> okay. Nathaniel, do you quickly yeah. lead out of this building? Yep. You quickly, in the dead of night, now with the rain falling quite hard. You will make it outside. And as you do, you will feel, Nathaniel, just a jolt of emotion, of fear, of pain. Do either of you look back at ye old London? Yes. <laughs> Nathaniel? Yeah. You look back now at the stairs heading up midway, hearing the Thames and the rain splashing against it. You will look back at the building, ye old London. People on the inside are still eating, drinking, talking, as you both feel what's about to happen on the inside. And as it does, There will be a flash of light that will quickly turn red. And in a second, the building is completely engulfed in fire as a huge explosion ripples out from the inside, knocking both of you over the fence and slamming into the gates of the Thames. As you watch, this building now completely engulfed in flames as there has been a huge explosion on the inside. You are both rocked and the beast already wants to run from how much flame there is. How much fire. The people, you see some of them in what look to be werewolves jumping out of the windows on fire, screaming in pain and agony. And at this point, you will see the front of this building, the sign, begin to fall as it burns. And for you, Nathaniel, in your head, all you will hear is this.
as the fire begins to spread and the people begin to scream all around you. That is where we will end tonight's session as we are two people down and I do not wish to go any further without them. <laughs>